done. So I'm ready now on both my cameras. We are going to do the retrograde zodiac signs. Um, and kind of see what y'all can be looking looking for. What What is going on with the retrograde? Okay. So this retrograde is starting on the 10th, which is next Tuesday. But the energy started on the 28th of last month. Okay. Um, and so the energy is, is already out there, already kind of testing the waters. And for some people, the energy is freaking real. Like it is serious already right now, y'all. It is serious. Retrograde energy is really serious. Um, during a Mercury retrograde is a little bit different than other retrogrades. Cause you know, all of our planets go into retrograde Pluto, everybody, everybody goes into retrograde. However, Mercury, when it goes into retrograde, it likes to stir shit up. Um, exes will be coming back into your life. Um, maybe just to say, Hey, maybe to pop in your inbox, maybe to whatever, whatever, maybe to stir some shit up, maybe to be like, you know what? I always loved you and whatever. And this, that, and the third. Now, when an X pops into your inbox during retrograde, it's for one or two reasons. Either this was a lesson that you didn't learn, that spirit's trying to see if you are going to go backwards, or it was someone that, you know, you fucked up with and that you could have done better with, and they're coming back into your life for second chances. Retrograde does bring second chances back into your life. So don't ever think like, Oh, I met him during retrograde. I should have known. Or he came back during retrograde. And it's not necessarily true. Sometimes people will come back to you during retrograde because they were meant for you. A lot of times, exes come back during retrograde to see if you learned your lesson the first time. You know, if somebody used to like beat you up or sleep with, you know, trailer trash whores, they're probably still going to try to beat you up or sleep with trailer trash whores. Nine times out of 10, those types of things can't necessarily be fixed. However, um, there is, you know, a possibility that y'all were just not in the right place at the right time the last time y'all got together and whatever. And so there's that. Retrograde also has a funny way of fucking with your money. Um, either you get a lot of money during retrograde or you be flat fucking broke. Okay. So don't feel bad if you end up broke in the, for the next month and a half. Don't feel bad. It is a lesson from spirit. Remember that everything is a lesson from spirit. Um, and me, myself, am a work in progress and still having to remind myself daily that everything is a lesson from spirit. So with that being said, let's see if we can get this party started. Okay. Um, also with retrograde, you will see a lot of mechanical hiccups, a lot of electronical hiccups, shit that doesn't make sense. Your internet might start acting up, um, <clears throat> Or, you know, if your internet's not acting up, it could be your car. There's a lot of car problems that happen during retrograde. A lot, a lot of car problems. Um, also, like, Cash App may start giving you problems. I had some Cash App problems last night, y'all. I was like, look at retrograde. Um, Zelle, things of that nature. Anything that's, like, done on your phone or on the internet um, may start giving you problems. Washers and dryers may break down. Uh, refrigerators stop working. Shit crazy happens and you're gonna be like what the fuck but just know that it's spirit testing you trying to see how you're gonna move and what you're gonna do okay all right so we're gonna start off with um cancer today we're gonna start off with cancer don't ask me why i'm just drawn to cancer all of a sudden so we're gonna start off with cancer and we're gonna ask spirit um you know what what can cancers expect during the retrograde, okay? What can cancers expect during the retrograde? Um, where? Give me a moment, y'all, because my phone want to act up, and we not doing that. Ah, here we go. All right, so we're going to ask Spirit, what can cancers expect during the retrograde? All right. All right. <laughs> Cancers, you get the seven of spring. The seven of spring, Cancers. 
this card is saying for my cancer friends Darren Mercury retrograde do not back down from the things that you believe stand 10 toes down for your beliefs for the things that you know what you know when people try to tell you you're crazy you don't know what you're talking about your intuition during the next three to six weeks are going to be so on point don't let anybody tell you you don't know what you know cancer because you do be assertive be assertive and stand up for yourself because if you don't stand up for yourself nobody is going to stand up for you in this season all right my cancer friends you have to do this you have to stand up for self you have to be ten toes down for self nobody else is going to do this okay aries aries what does mercury retrograde have in store for my aries friends what is going on with aries spirit if you haven't already y'all please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel da water goddess okay the water goddess on youtube check her out also i got catch the wave with the water goddess on facebook all right, Aries. Ooh, Aries, I'm loving this. The sun, the sun for Aries. Yes. This is talking about everything is going to work out in your favor. Aries, Mercury retrograde is kind of just going to pass you by. You really don't have a lot to worry about. Maybe a little relationship hiccups, but nothing is going to be concrete or finalized with you guys. Um, You have a lot of really good ideas and spirit wants you to go ahead and like, let those ideas and that creative energy take off during the season. Retrograde is also a good time to get those wishes in and try to do, you know, do things that are different and outside the box for you, Aries. So make sure you do that. But also make sure you are giving gratitude to spirit. Things going your way and everything working out during a retrograde. Hey, we need to be telling spirit. Thank you. Okay. Ashe. So we've done Cancer and we've done Aries. Let's get to our Gemini friends, all right? My air signs, okay? I am an Aquarius moon. Um, Yeah, I'm an Aquarius, all right? And then my rising is a Gemini, and my moon is a Libra. I am all air, all air. You can't tell me shit. I'm all air, okay? <laughs> hey, moon phoenix, beautiful. All right, Geminis, Geminis. And y'all season coming up, Gemini, so this makes sense. So we're going to get into it. What can we expect for our Geminis for retrograde? Thank you, Spirit. And again, this is a Mercury retrograde reading for the collective Zodiac, okay? If you want a personal reading, though, you can DM me or you can catch me on www.energyreadingsbymoonbutterfly.com. Go down and click on the water goddess and you can book with me. You'll see my schedule there. All right. So this is for the Geminis. What can you expect during the retrograde? Oof. Oh. All right, Gemini. You get the five of autumn. The five of autumn. Five of Autumn is saying, you're going to have a little bit of a tough retrograde, baby boo, okay? You might have to ask some people for help during this season. You might end up having to humble yourself. I don't know if you got to go to social services. I don't know if you're calling your moms. I don't know what you're doing, but you're going to have to ask some people for help in this season. Be humble and know that this is a temporary setback, and this is just trying to see where your mind is at because spirit says they tired of you gemini they tired of you and they do not have time for you to be playing around okay you play around too much you procrastinate too much and you like to go back into your old toxic habits gemini we're not going to do that during this retrograde we are definitely not going to do that what we are going to do is we are going to elevate and when spirit says ask for help we're going to humble ourselves and ask for help we're not going to go steal and rob and whatever the fuck else we do we ain't popping no pussy gemini's we ain't doing that we're going to ask for help um it's also not going to be a good time for any kind of career changes or to start or start a job in this season okay do not start a job do not stop a job just kind of keep doing whatever it is that you're doing until these little six weeks pass and then try to move forward Knowing that, you know, you've elevated and you've learned something in this process, okay? All right, Geminis. Look, y'all, I got this new lighter and I love it, but I want a different one. I can't find my other one. All right, so we have done Cancer, we have done Aries, and we have done Gemini. Um, Let's hear it up for our Scorpio friends. Scorpio, God's gift to goddesses. Hey, 
Moon Phoenix. Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all can talk to me. I'm just doing a collective reading for Mercury Retrograde for our Zodiacs. But I'm just here to pop shit. So you can pop shit if you want to pop shit, y'all. Pop shit with me. <laughs> All right. So I'm doing Scorpios now, y'all. Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit, for Scorpios. What do they have in store for this retrograde? Oof. And I want to say, I'm going to get the exact dates before I get off of here, but I know it starts May 10th is like the start, the official start of the retrograde. But that post shit hit on the 26th and that shit is real crucial, okay? Thank you, Spirit, for Scorpios. Scorpios be always having it hard. I hope this is a good card for y'all because Scorpios be having a hard time getting it together. Hey, Scorpios, this is a good card. I got the lovers. I got the lovers for my Scorpios, which could be good or bad. Scorpio, you can expect your exes to be calling you, or you may be getting the urge to call them in this season. Um, But Spirit says if you're making choices from the heart and not the mind, if you're able to let go of ego and pride, then this love connection that you make during this Mercury retrograde may actually be something worth holding on to. It may actually be something that you didn't see the first time around, if it's an ex or whatever, if it's a new love, a new love relationship, that's amazing. Don't make any commitments to anybody um, until after the retrograde. You never want to make a final decision during a retrograde. So don't make any commitments to anyone until after the retrograde. But just know that like, as long as you make this choice from the heart, Scorpio, this is going to be a really good thing for you. It's also talking about a return to good health. So if you've been having any health issues, even like aches, pains, ailments, anything like that, that's also going to kind of subside during the um, retrograde. Hello, I was your first one, sun and rising Cancer Virgo Moon. Oh, hey, beautiful. All right, all right, all right. And so let's see what we got next. Um, we did Scorpio. Let's hear it for the Libras. One time, two times, get a Libras. Hey. All right, Spirit, thank you for our Libras. I'm going to do Libras and then I'm going to do Virgos, y'all. So let's see, let's see. So my Libra friends, what is popping, Spirit? Thank you. What's going to happen with Libras during Mercury retrograde? Let's see what they got going on. Hey, Lamont, I'm just enjoying this gorgeous view, <laughs> and Libras are the best. Oh, yeah? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know what, y'all? I swear to God, people need to compliment people more often. There are so many nasty, negative people in the world. It takes like three seconds to tell somebody that they are beautiful. And you know what? That just made my whole day. So thank you. Oh, Libras are the best, so I guess this one's for you then, huh? I am a Libra moon, so I won't disagree that Libras are the best. I will not disagree. <laughs> All right, let's see what got in store for Libras. Oof. All right, Libras. I get release, 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 release. All right, sweetheart. During Mercury retrograde, you're going to need to let go of some people and things that no longer serve you. And it may hurt a lot. It may be very uncomfortable. It may take you out of your comfort zone. It may make you feel vulnerable. And Libras, we don't like that, okay? But with that being said, the ending is going to make a way for new opportunities. It's going to make a way for new doors, new pathways to be opened for you. Windows, if you can't get out the, the fucking door, you can crawl out the window. There's going to be a way out out for you okay so just know that even though this is an ending it's a letting go of your past it's a letting go of things that don't serve you it's a letting go of people that are taking your energy for granted and not really giving back you got to make sure your cup is full in this season so when this is happening to you and you like what the fuck just know my love this is serving you a greater purpose because what you about to come into when this retrograde is over Oh, it's going to be all of that, all of that. Okay. And you heard it here first. So you can come back and give me my dues when they're, cause you know, you want to pay dues to when they owed. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that was our Libras. Let's get into our Virgos real quick. 
October 12th. Okay. Well, I'm an Aquarius, but um, I do have a Libra moon and a Gemini rising. I could be wrong. It could be Gemini moon and Libra rising. I gotta look at the shit again, but I, I know I'm all air, okay? <laughs> I agree when you do give... The compliment they light up like they never heard it <laughs> or maybe it's just to be surprised that a stranger said it to them it's not even a stranger or you've never heard it but sometimes says we get comfortable with people people get comfortable with other people so even married people or people in relationships or whatever they stop telling their partners, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're gorgeous, you're handsome, you're sexy, you do this for me, you do that for me. Like, ooh, look at you. They stop doing that. And you should always chase your partner. Even after you have got them, you should always chase them. Because you don't ever want anybody to stop feeling like they are loved or they belong or that they're worthy or that they're sexy or whatever. And when you stop doing that, you give room and opportunity for when a stranger comes and says, oh, you're so gorgeous for you to feel like, oh, shit. Well, what's up, dude? Because you're not getting that same, you know, attention, attraction and vice versa, men and women. So it's really important. But not only that, like you don't ever know what somebody's going through. So if you can give a compliment, I think you should. All right, Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What is happening with my Virgos? My best friend, my sister, she's a Virgo. My daughter is a Virgo. Everybody's a Virgo. Hey, Marvin Lewis. What's happening? All right. And again, y'all, if you would like a reading with me, you can book me. You can hop in my DM. Or you can go to www.energyreadingsbymoonbutterfly.com. Go down to the Water Goddess. Look at my schedule and book your reading, okay? And I would be glad to read y'all. All right, so I got Virgo, 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 Virgo. Lord Jesus, here come the Virgos. Here come the Virgos. Father Spring with they bullshit. <laughs> I would marry you ASAP if I had the opportunity, goddess. Oh, Lord. Not a marriage proposal on live, boy. Don't do that. <laughs> um, Virgos, okay. Y'all are fighting with somebody. Virgos, y'all are fighting with somebody, okay? Opposing, it says opposing opinions. This means that the the um whole the whole argument, the whole fight y'all are having is not necessarily as bad as you think because it's opposing opinions. However, that does not mean that you give anyone the right to sit around and disrespect you or to make you feel like your opinion is less than theirs. That is not what this means. What this means is stop, take a minute, reflect, go backwards. And can you look at this from any other angle than the way you've been looking at it? If you are able to, then you may be able to save this relationship, whether it be a friendship, a family member, a lover, I don't know, but it, it, it could be savable during this retrograde. Um, but the biggest problem with this card is that this says you're feeling at odds with yourself, Virgo, at odds with yourself. You're not feeling right within in self. And so when you don't feel right within self, it's not going to matter what anybody else does or what anybody else says to you because you don't feel good in here. So during this retrograde, I encourage you to take some space, take some time for you, take some self-love baths, get you some crystals, y'all. Like, y'all think I be playing and lying? These are just some of my crystals that I fuck around with regularly. But when I say get you some crystals, like I mean it. I was at the beach this weekend with freaking um obsidian in my bra all weekend long. Like I was not playing. No negative energy, okay? Um, take some time for you, okay, Virgo. Take some time for you. It also says you're dealing with overly ambitious people, and that's very dangerous because that means they're selfish. People who are overly ambitious are selfish, and you may need to be cutting some cords or some ties during this retrograde. But just know, you know, the retrograde only lasts for six weeks. This is the rest of your life you're making a decision for. Okay? Ashe. Um, so that was our Virgos. We did Cancer, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, and Libra. Let's and we did Scorpio. Let's do Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. 
Look at my new biggest fan, God's gift to goddesses. Okay, I see the hearts. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius. Rena Ruby Red. Hey, beautiful. Thank you for the hearts. Sagittarius. Um, but y'all tell me, how is Mercury post-retrograde treating y'all? How do y'all feel? Are y'all okay? What's going on? Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all, sometimes my cards get stuck and then I feel like I have to shuffle them again. So just give me a second. I'm still here with you. All right, Sagittarius. This is a good card. Six of spring for the Sagittarius, for the Mercury, Mercury retrograde, okay? This is a good card. This is talking about things really kind of going your way this season. Um, you're making really good choices. You're doing a lot of really good things. And Spirit is noticing all of your commitment and everything that you've been going through. And, you know, this last season may have been some burdens, may have been a couple of things like going on that you're just like, I don't know what's happening and, you know, this, that, and the third. But all of that is about to come to a different type of light for you. So just know, like, you're headed in the right direction with this Mercury retrograde. Success and a lot of recognition is coming for you, Sagittarius. A lot of recognition, a lot of success. So a lot of good things are happening. Um, Spirit says keep making smart choices and you're going to reap the rewards. So another good retrograde. And I'm loving this fucking good energy for retrograde because it'd be so fucking messy, y'all, that anytime there's some good energy, I'm with it. Um, we're going to do Capricorns. Capricorns, where you at? My son and my daughter is a Capricorn, okay? I got all that damn energy over here. Um, And if y'all are messaging me, just know I can't see while I'm on live. Give me a few and I will get back to you. All right, Capricorn, Swiss Baby. What's up with my Capricorn friends for the Mercury Retrograde? Thank you, Spirit, Ashe. Ooh, Capricorn, my whole fucking deck... Every time I read a damn Capricorn, something happens to my deck. Y'all trying to take me up out of here. Look, I'm just reading the damn cards for y'all. Don't take me out, Capricorn. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> y'all. All right. What is happening with our Capricorn friend spirit for the Mercury retrograde? Whoo. All right, retrograde for Capricorns. You get the princess of winter. Princess of winter. So the princess of winter gives me a lot of feminine energy. First of all, it's a younger female energy. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be you. This could be someone in your life or someone that's coming into your life. Or it could be a, it could also be a male. Sometimes males hold a lot of feminine energy and don't realize it. But however it resonates to you, just know that this person is normally really truthful and realistic. Um... And they're not very, like, they're kind of unapologetic, too. So they could be an air sign. All right. So anyway, y'all are going to have a little bit of difficulty. I'm not going to lie. There's going to be some difficulty happening um, this month. People are going to be telling you some real shit, and you're not going to want to hear it. It's going to be some shit for that ass, and you are not going to want to hear it. It's going to hurt you. It's going to piss you off. It's going to take you out of your comfort zone. But what you do with this information is important. Not the information, not what happened, not this, not that, but what you do with it is important. Sometimes when you find out that someone has completely disrespected you or has, you know, just did a whole 360 or whatever the fuck a situation, lied, stole, cheated, whatever they did, sometimes it gives you clarity because you've been thinking, oh my God, what's wrong with so-and-so? Why are they so angry? Why are they this? Why are they that? What did I do wrong? And then you realize all of a sudden, oh shit, it's not me. You treated me funny because you guilty of this other shit. So now you have the information, my love. So now what you do with it is up to you, but you're going to take that information and, you know, hopefully move on and pass that shit because we don't have time for that. Edward. Hello, queen. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Rena called me beautiful. Hey, girl. 
Um, but yes, so there's that. It also says don't take nobody's kindness as a weakness. So if it's you that's causing a problem, make sure that you're humble in this season or you're going to keep getting that bad karma. Then you're going to be like, why does this keep happening to me? And it's going to be your own fault. Okay. Um, all right. So let's do Aquarius. That's my sign, y'all. So let's see what spirit got for little old Miss Amaris. Ta-da. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for Aquarius. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for Aquarius. Let me just take a look and see what we got going on here. Hold on. Just a moment, y'all. Just a moment. Sorry, guys. All right. So, Aquarius. What's happening with Aquarius for the Mercury retrograde? Let's get it in real quick and find the fuck out, okay? We gonna fuck around and find out. Y'all, my charger, like, doesn't want to go in, doesn't want to come out. It's crazy. It's, like, stuck or something. It's weird. All right. So, all right cameras are moving oh my goodness all right aquarius mercury retrograde here we go oh man a winner man a winner <laughs> letting go of worry and fear letting go of worry and fear in this season aquarius you gotta let it go it's talking about letting worry and fear grow out of proportion um which really resonates with me so the advice that i have for you aquarius during mercury retrograde is <sighs> kind of go with the flow as a natural air sign and as a water bearer and as a giver and as being the the sign of the millennium aquarius you have to know that your bleeding heart cannot bleed for everybody so sometimes we worry so much about everybody else and about everything that's going on and oh my god i can't lose her she is the most amazing person she has so much potential she has this, she has that. Oh my God, I can't leave him. What will he do? Where will he go? What's going to happen? Oh my God, this person needs and this person wants and this person. Look, Aquarius, you cannot bleed for everybody because you will bleed the fuck out. You cannot bleed for everybody. You will bleed out. I read a quote the other day that said, I loved you so much that loving you was killing me. Aquarius, you cannot do that in this season. You cannot do that in this season. And Mercury is here to tell you, let go of that worry and that fear. Stop focusing on the worst case scenario. Stop focusing on the what if. Stop focusing on things you cannot control. And allow yourself to, to deal with things that you can control. Worry about today. Worry about right now. Worry about where you're, you're going to go this afternoon. Not where you're going to go tomorrow. Not what you're going to do tomorrow. But worry about right now. Okay? Ashe. No. They took, um, Jordan, now they took the brother's high. All right, and so, um, oh no, I lost my little, hold on, y'all. All right, and so let's do Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, uh, y'all are one of my least favorite signs this month, okay? But I'm going to show y'all some love anyway. All right, my Taurus friends, what is going to happen for you during Mercury Retrograde? Taurus, what's happening during Mercury Retrograde? What is going on? Thank you, Spirit, for Taurus. Thank you for our Taurus friends. Thank you, Spirit, for the messages. Thank you. 